Today, the Ocala City Council finalized plans for the police chief status while facing an investigation. Three employees have filed a grievance against the chief claiming harassment, discrimination, and retaliation. WUFT's Nicole Sanini sat in on today's meeting and joins us now live from the newsroom. Maggie, Chief Greg Graham was not there, but it was still a pretty tense discussion of how to proceed. In the end, the council agreed with a proposal from Graham's lawyer. The Ocala City Council voted 4-1 to one to place Police Chief Greg Graham on paid leave. The only no vote was from Council Member Mary Sue Reach, who favored suspension without pay while the investigation goes forward. The city has hired a Tallahassee law firm to look into complaints of sexual harassment and discrimination at the police department. We felt like the council didn't need to go to have a suspension because there's a connotation uh, that suspension means you found him responsible for something. So we proposed an alternative that has the same effect. The attorney for the three employees who filed a grievance raised concerns about Graham continuing to have any contact with his staff. The council said the deputy chief taking over uh, can email Graham for advice as long as it has nothing to do with the investigation. It's longtime Deputy Chief Rodney Smith who will run day-to-day -day operations at the Ocala Police Department for now. The mayor hopes the investigation of Chief Graham will be completed within a few weeks. Nicole Segnini, WUFT News.